who can't love an orangutan? They are so hairy and droopy looking. They look like rock stars who've had a hard night. One of the reasons the orangutan is in so much trouble is because of palm oil. In order to develop palm oil plantations, you have to chop down the rainforest. You create a monoculture of palm oil and they have no place to go. They have no place to live. They have nothing to eat. It offers such an opportunity for exploring the world through fiction that you have a, a whiz kid who invents these great sci-fi type inventions with his knowledge of material science and his cousin who passionately loves animals and they're working together to save endangered animals one, one animal at a time. The experiences they have in the rainforest, the kids team up with a native uh, young man who's a little older than them, he's a 15 year old, and all the things that happen to them along the way. Kids are really drawn to animals and getting them to think about saving animals I think it's a way to engage them emotionally in the idea that this planet is something to be treasured. The story is an adventure story which a kid can read, but the little girl is homeschooled and she's required to write logs. She'll provide geographic information, she'll provide natural history about the orangutan, she'll talk about climate change and the bogs. Parents and teachers read the book to their children, talk to them about the worldwide threats of extinction and start to get their children thinking about what are the things they can do in their lives uh, that can put this off.